to do. We've got lots of things happening here this afternoon. Three o'clock in an hour's time. Uh, it's the big event. It's the event that the, the crew that are taking part have honestly been waiting for for the past year, uh, which is our, our annual uh, tug of war. We do it in here. It goes sort of diagonal. Uh, we've got 14 crew teams. We're going to be looking for a ladies' guest team and a gentleman's guest team as well. And I'm going to find out who they're going to be uh, in about 40 minutes' time from now. First, though, uh, this is, uh, again, something we do really on our crossings because with so many sea days, it's nice to put a lot of events uh, uh, during the day. And uh, being the culinary master that I am, um, <laughs> and master chef, effectively, I thought it would be a good opportunity to, uh, to get our, uh, our teams out involved in, uh, in, in cake, cakes and sort of coming up to the holiday and festive season. So first of all, uh, assisting me this afternoon is a gentleman I, I know you know from the morning show and all the good things happening around the ship. Your applause, please, for activities manager, Rob, everybody. Rob, come on out. Rob. Nice, nice, yeah, keep your fingers away. Um, and uh, also making sure everything uh, goes to plan and showing you really the proper way to, to do all these things is our executive sous chef from the United Kingdom. Nice one, welcome, please, for Darren, our executive sous chef, everyone. Darren, good afternoon to you. Nice to see you. Welcome. And um, uh, for Darren is responsible for pretty much everything. It's always the second in command that's really responsible and should take the credit. Um, Darren, you were coach to McKenna, who's our sous chef, uh, our executive chef, of course. Yeah. How many um, how many meals? I love asking. So, how many meals are served on board every day? Um, including crew, around about twenty thousand. Twenty thousand meals a day. Each. <laughs> you eat. That's what you get through uh, during the course of. And of course, uh, provisions and stores came on in Southampton because with all these sea days, there's nowhere to pick up. So, so how much uh, do we take? How much food do we take on? Um, roughly twelve thousand pounds of beef, sixteen thousand pounds of mutton, uh, ten thousand pounds of pork, uh, fifteen thousand pounds of pineapple. Excellent. A lot. A lot. A lot of food. A lot of food. And it's going already. So please just cut back a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Right, now, uh, Darren, are you going to be, the, uh, are you going to be decorating the baking today? No, I'm um, uh, the pastry chef Oliver, who's going to be doing the, uh, the for stuff. Brilliant. Well, let's bring him out. Uh, welcome our executive pastry chef, everybody. Oliver, this afternoon, come on out. <laughs> Oliver, great. Fantastic. Let's in the middle there, Oliver. Oliver is the one, again, it's sort of, uh, you know, more... Oliver does most of the work, let's be honest. Uh, <laughs> Oliver's not mic'd up because he's going to be one that's, uh, that's making, but thanks for coming out. Oliver, tell us where you're, uh, tell us where you're from. From the Philippines. From the Philippines. Good stuff, okay. <laughs> so, Darren, I'm going to hand over to you because you're going to talk through what Oliver's doing. Uh, Rob and I are just going to sort of watch on and then we're going to involve Sachi. We need a lady. We need a lady to, 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 do we have a lady? There's a lady frantically yeah, waving uh, over here. Madam, would you like to, would you like to come down? Yeah, come on then. Give her a nice warm welcome, everybody. Please, if you would. Thank you so much. Thank Fantastic. Are you an expert at cooking and baking? You'd like to bake. And your name is? Vicky. Vicky. Okay. Great stuff. Vicky, I'm going to put you next to Rob. Right over there. Have a look, a good look at what uh, uh, Oliver is, uh, is doing, because it's very important. And then we're, we're going to sort of battle it out between me and Rob together and you. All right? That's going to be the, <laughs> the build of the day. Right, we're just sorting out uh, Chef's mic a little bit, so you can hear a bit more clearer there. Yeah, should yeah. Have, there we go. Thanks oh, for right. asking. Heather. Heather's our production manager, by the way. Right, so, right over there. John, John. So you know she's done a good job. Just disappears. Okay. <laughs> So, uh, Chef, how are you? Uh, let's uh, okay. let you uh, talk through what, what the plan is. Okay, so the plan is we're going to make a uh, black forest kettle. Good. Um, so Oliver's going to make the cake to completion. He's going to make the whole cake, and then you guys are going to copy and make the cake. Now, the only thing we've pre planned pre-baked, of course, is a sponge. That's, uh, is it any type of sponge? Or chocolate, or chocolate just sponge. chocolate sponge. Just a plain chocolate sponge. Beautiful. So Oliver's going to start uh, whipping the cream. Um, and getting it to stiff peaks so we can um, use a palette knife to spread the cream on the cake and then eventually cover the cake. So this is it's just cream and sugar? Just cream and sugar. It's just adding a little bit of sugar just to start, just to give it a little bit of a sweet flavour. 
um, and he's going to whip that until, as I say, it's going to be uh, stiff peaks so we can actually Can we get him a bit closer, Francisco, just to see, uh, just to see it, because I'm amazed at the, the density already from just uh, the screen to... It's an easy whipping cream. We got them. It's easy whipping cream? Yeah, yeah. because it's very uh, quick. Yeah, there's a, we have some staff like that as well. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'd hate to see the size of the power flow that that connects to. Oh, yeah. <laughs> the size of that machine. So as you see, nearly, nearly ready. So once it's, uh, he's got the printer stiff picks, which is just about there. When you make the cakes, are, are they, they are made on board, aren't they? They're not, they're yeah. not they don't come on pre-made? No, everything's made on board. Uh, Oliver's in charge of the pastry section and we have uh, 16, 16 cooks, 16 major cooks, 24 hour operation. Oliver, do you ever, do you ever want to dip your finger in and, and just, uh, do, you ever, do you ever do that with a bowl at the end before you put it in the washing machine? No? <laughs> okay, so the next step, um, we're going to separate the chocolate layers, um, and on the first base layer, um, we're going to drizzle with uh, Kirschwasser. What is this? Kirsch. Kirsch. So this is, um, it's a, ch a cherry flavoured water, they call it Kirschwasser. It's a cherry flavoured water, um, and when this is made, they use the cherries on the, and the pits also. So you have like a cherry and an almond taste. Nice. It's a little bit different to Kirsch brandy. Can I uh, cook the almond cherry brandy? Oh, that is cool. Cool, great. I can take your nose off. <laughs> so once, once we've drizzled the chocolate sponge um, with the Kirsch rasa, we're going to put the cream on, and we're going to spread the cream so we have a level. Um, so once the cream's on the spread, um, all evenly, you don't need to put too much because obviously we're going to layer the three cakes, the, the three uh, slices, so it's going to be quite tall anyway. Once the first layer of cream's on, um, we're going to add cherries, um, all the way around. Because it's not for display, it doesn't have to be in any way, just, just bang them on. Just bang them on. Whack them on. So that's not the top. That's not the top. This is going to be the bottom, bottom base. Once, once the cherries are on, we add another layer of cream. Cream. Again, not too much because otherwise it's going to be like this if we had to. If we had to do it at the beginning. The higher, the better. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then, so that's the first layer, pretty much done. When, um, when you when you get new staff, do you, do, you, do you, will they be expected to know how to do this sort of thing, or is it a particular way that uh, is it a corporate look when it comes to these cakes that they like? Um, this one in particular is pretty much standard. It's uh, it's a classic recipe. So if I came on to your your gallery, you would expect yeah. me to know how to make this? <laughs> yeah. Okay, I'm in. Yeah. I mean, I mean, we we hire the chefs at all different levels. So if they come on with no experience, then we teach them and we put them through the ACF program. Hope for a chef. Yeah, I know we all want maybe one. next week. So more liquor. So it's, it's exactly the same process as we started with. Um, sponge. We boil the curd rasa. Create a layer of cream again. Cherries. Layer of cream. Wow. Exactly the same. And we're going to do that three times. Okay. Happy getting this, everybody. The recipe is available on the website. <laughs> Traditionally, it should be Morello cherries. What's that? Morello. Morello. Oh, sorry, no, sorry, cherries. Oh, right. But we're using Morello cherries. We're using the, Morello. Yeah, traditionally, it's the dark ones. Um, okay. Because the, the, the recipe is from the Black Forest in, uh, in uh, Germany, mm -hmm. in Gottesburg. So the the cherries that they used in, <coughs> to start with when this recipe was first made, the cherries that they used was grown in the Black Forest. So it's, it's usually dark ones, but well, unfortunately we don't have them on board, so I'm using Morello cherries. So we don't have the dark ones on board? No. <laughs> okay. It's basically the chocolate sponge that we want to eat. Okay, so third layer going on. Third going on. So this time, we... Uh, oh, more, more liqueur. More Excellent. liqueur, more liqueur. All three. There's a whole bottle of cake. Is it not all soggy? No, it goes moist inside the cake. Okay. Because the, the sponge is quite thick, so it absorbs it quite well. And then this time, we put the cream on and we cover the whole cake. So we cover the top and we cover the sides. And the sides as well. And the sides as well. I, um, whilst you're doing that, I, I made my first Christmas cake. We had uh, Christmas two weekends ago for my family. Before we came back to the ship, we always had a Christmas beforehand. And I made my first Christmas cake. The problem I found was, was 
doing the making the sides okay. uh, sort of neat. It certainly wasn't like uh, it's, it's a lot easier when you have a cake stand that turns. Right, I just put it on the kitchen table. Is it helping you've done a little bit of plastering before? Yeah. Yeah, okay. It'll be alright. I think we'll show. I think some architects now. Are you watching this? Are you saying? Okay. I think she knows. She's I think familiar. she's made one of these before. I think we've got a professional one. Something similar. We're going to do it with the tops covered. We just have to make sure all the side is covered. It doesn't matter about seeing the chocolate sponge on the side because we're going to put uh, big chocolate bits on the side, which is going to make one of that in the rest of He's a professional. Oh, I was going to say. Can I buy us next time? Have we got one we made earlier? Yeah. Great. Okay, so look at that. Nothing clean on the top. Detail, Rob. Detail. Watch it. See? Yeah, it's it's exactly the same as this. It'll be yeah. identical. Nice and smooth, nice and even. That's it. Yeah. You'll for sale and sale. Very, very good. Okay. <laughs> All the great chocolate bits. So now once, once the cake's covered in the cream, then we use the chocolate um, to put it aside. Side and push, push the chocolate bits into the cream so it sticks. You're getting so I can see, I can hear you licking your lips. <laughs> that's it. So, round the, uh, round the side, that's okay. Nice. Okay, once that's done, we're going on to the last step now of just uh, garnishing the cake. Just check a bit of that. Okay, we've got a bit more cream, a bit more cream for the garnish. So we're going to put the cream in the piping bag, and we're going to pipe. Sorry, off. what's this called? A piping bag. A piping bag. Yeah. Yeah. Is it Scottish or was it? Oh, it's not. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> you and me only, I think. Ah, now I saw Bruce Force do this on the Generation Game once. It went everywhere. So that's it. Then we just pipe rosettes around the corners, what, what are those around the edges. Right, some corners. You pipe rosettes. Yeah. yeah, so you get what's in the truck. This will be your bit. <laughs> <laughs> Once the rosettes are packed, because we're going to be touching the cake, we put on the gloves. Um, and then we garnish all the top uh, with the cherries. Well, the way you did that with your hand, I saw the, the, the Committee of Heathrow did that. The drugs were in my bag all along. <laughs> Couldn't you look better in the first place? You can come. You'll be again. You'll be again. <laughs> Sorry, so uh, cherry goes on each of those. Cherry goes on each of the rosettes to garnish, and then we finish off with uh, chocolate pieces in the middle. That looks like a cat tray. <laughs> that looks nothing like a cat tray. You saw probably that a cat in the back of <laughs> Brilliant. Is that it? That's it. Well, we all of you, everybody. Terrific. That was great. Now, um, can, I'm sorry, just remind me of the first name. Vicky. Okay, Vicky. So, um, Darren, we're going to sort of go to you just to get a set. So, okay. what do we need to... First thing is apron and a hat. You have an apron and a hat here. An apron and a hat. One for you, one for Rob. Apron and a hat. Yeah, yours isn't made. You have to make yours yourself. <laughs> and then we have a hat for you. And Oh, it's the other way around. Steady. Not in now. Can you do me? This is more kinky with Just coming a bit closer with you. Super. Okay, and uh, the hat for you is ready to go. And you need to make yours. 
She didn't make it. No. Oh, I need to fold it. Fold it in where? So you need to fold it into this one. Once it's the right size, you need to take this one. Yeah, right size, you need a massive size for Rob. Just check it first, Rob. You've got quite a big head. There you go. Now what? Just press it. No. What? Take it off. <laughs> this is a sticky bit here. So you have to take this one off. Oh, okay. Do you do know this as, as a, on every day? Do you want every day? Yeah. On every day? Yeah. I think we'll all be delayed by now. <laughs> 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 Turn around, you look like a you look like the archbishop of her. <laughs> okay. First job. So the first job is we need to whip the cream. Okay. So you both have creams and you both have a whisk. Can I say that? What's yeah. that for? Because that wasn't used. Is that on the table? That's a paint with dead little brush. Just to clean it off afterwards. Oh, okay. Who's whisking? Uh, I'll you put the cream in here. Yeah. Okay, so we have the whisk and we have the cream. So the first, first job is to add a little bit of sugar to the cream as you're whisking. That's each now, So whisk the cream and then just add a little bit of sugar. So just drizzle a little bit more. A little bit more. Okay, that's all right. That's okay. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Just take the, uh, that's not going to get thick. Give it. Very quick. That's it. Ready yet? Come here, this my coat. Is it hot? Is that being watered down? I'll do it, that's fine, I'll do it. That's not big enough. Keep missing, guys, keep missing. Yeah, it's fine, Rob. Don't worry, it's not a drill. More sugar, more sugar, yes, more sugar. sugar. That's it. Come on, whisk it, man, whisk it. I'm not being funny, but here's a brilliant son. I don't know what's going on. She's a professional. Oh, I don't know. Oh, that's it. Okay. Is that the mission gone wrong? Yeah, just a little bit more. Just oh. a little bit more. Close. Not yet. Oh, not yet. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> nah, that's not great. <laughs> Do we like the chef with it? Okay, excellent. Yep, that's good, that's good. Okay, next step. Keep us going, I'll look at the next step. You keep going. Okay, next step, we're gonna take the split the layers of chocolate. Do I have to take two off? Okay, just stick them on the side there. Keep us bro. Which layers? And the first layer, the bottom layer, take the two top layers off. And on the bottom layer, we're going to drizzle with curd. <laughs> it's not working down. That's it, that's it. It's like semolina. Good, good generous. Top layer. Top generous. That's it. <laughs> Thank you, love. Thank you. <laughs> Okay. 
it's all, if you like cherries, <laughs> this is the cake for you. If not, I wouldn't ever go to the Wind Channel again. <laughs> so, uh, so, so, Mickey, everybody, I'm for Darren as well. Oh, Um, so, uh, Vicky, well done. You can, um, uh, I'll say that in another way, but you can't really, can you? No, you can't, but you can enjoy it up in the winter. Well done. Um, you can keep it out if you like. It's yours to take away as a souvenir. Thanks very much indeed, Vicky, everybody. Well done. Okay, now, hurry up. Uh, have you got a team, by the way? Have you got, I mean, you've got dining room teams, or your dining room colleagues are coming in and pulling up uh, this afternoon. Good. Uh, our tug of war, the, the interdepartmental guest tug of war, is coming up in half an hour. We're going to get a guest team, a gentleman's guest team, and a ladies' guest team. More people are going to be joining us, uh, so I'll be asking for uh, volunteers. If you'd like to be a part of the team, the, the more macho, the better to, to beat the crew. Uh, we'll be back with you shortly. We're just going to clear away here, and we'll be back with our interdepartmental uh, guest co war very, very shortly. Applause to Darren, everybody, and Oliver, who's back there. Thanks for joining us. We'll be back soon. Don't go away. Don't go away.